Mr. Beast is once again facing criticism for doing a hundred things. I mean, first it was what the hearing. He helped a hundred people, a hundred people that couldn't hear or had hearing issues. He came through and you know helped them hear, gave them some hearing. And then it was for the eyesight. You know, people were either vision impaired or just straight up blind. And he came through and helped a hundred people see. And uh, now it's apparently because Mr. Beast builds a hundred wells in Africa, attracting, attracting praise and some criticism. Look at his face, like he's like, bruh, I, I wonder how many people this is gonna piss off. <laughs> All right, before we get to the article, uh, we're gonna go through a snippet, a clip of the actual video. So, you know, here we go. Let's uh, check this out. One of the teachers showed me where the students currently get their water, which is from this river. That's extremely unsafe to drink. This is where your students used to get water from? Yes. This is crazy. Yeah. You know, students complaining of diarrhea, infections like typhoid, because this is the water we've been using. So yeah. we try to treat, but you see, look at it. it you know, but at the end of the day, life has to move on. You have to get some water anyway. This situation is obviously extremely sad. These children's lives are being limited and sometimes cut short from being forced to drink unsafe water. But at least for this village, we're gonna put an end to it right now. I don't think this John's gonna fit. <laughs> that would be good. Let's see if we can find some water. After the water comes out of the ground, it's fed into enormous barrels like this one. And once they're built into the water towers, all of the neighboring villages will not only have clean drinking water, but a pressurized water source as well. Which, in short, means no more doing laundry and unsafe water. And pull! <laughs> On a scale of one to Nolan's mom, how heavy is it? Nolan's mom times two! Oh, God. Dude, I'll push you off of this. <laughs> Whoa. All right, here we go, under control. We built 20 more wells in Kenya, and after we were done, Bro has another well in it. Don't worry, I have more water in my other shoe. <laughs> and just so you know how we built these first 29 wells, we used this giant drill to dig hundreds of feet into the ground, past the polluted sources, and into an enormous aquifer of pure drinkable water. After that, we spent time installing pipes so that people all around Africa can access water from spigots like this one in Nairiri. Let's see how it tastes. Like water. It took me about a minute to fill this five gallon drum. How much water can this provide a day? 3,600 gallons a day. Not only will this well cover the 400 kids at this school, but literally the entire neighborhood and village around this school can use this well. We say thank you for the water. Oh, no problem. <laughs> this thing can basically pump nonstop for 30 years. You would think that having an effect of this magnitude would require the resources and funding of a large government, but that's not true. Solving this problem is possible and something humanity should all be putting effort in to fix. What's the secret of success? To be honest, just find something you love doing and do it for a long period and eventually you'll succeed. So I'm gonna bring it super close. Okay, now, one thing I, I, I think might, you know, anger some people with that clip, I, just the clip I showed you was when he said, you think doing something like this would take a large government, the funding of a large gov government, but it doesn't. Or so, you know, so Kenya's, I mean, people's government might be, uh, you know, feel some type of way about that. Yeah, kind of right ahead, just a little bit, just, just a tad bit. But anyway, this uh, article is by Issy Ronald on CNN.com, or oh, wait, AMP.CNN.com. So let's go ahead and get into it. Mm. <clears throat> In his latest YouTube video, Mr. Beast traveled across Africa to build wells. American YouTuber Mr. Beast's latest video, in which he says he built 100 wells across Africa, I like how they said, in which he says he built it, <laughs> instead of like, in which he built, anyway, uh, 100 wells in Africa, has drawn a complex response online since it was published on Saturday. Some Kenyan cult of, uh, activists sorry, and journalists said he has spotlighted the failures of the Kenyan government, while Mr. Beast, whose real name is Jimmy Donaldson, 
anticipates that he will be canceled following the reaction. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much what was going on, kind of. <laughs> so the article continues, the new wells will provide clean drinking water for up to 500,000 people in Cameroon, Kenya, Somalia, Uganda, and Zimbabwe. Donaldson said, while an accompanying fundraiser to support local water aid organizations had raised more than $300,000 by Monday morning. That's what's up. <clears throat> so, Donaldson's 10 minute video also showed him donating supplies to Kenyan schools, such as new furniture, soccer balls, computers, whiteboards, and projectors building a bridge across a river to safely connect the, uh, the village with the local schools and hospital and donating bikes to a village in Zimbabwe to help children get to school. And yeah, that, that, the bridge one, like they were using a kind of a rickety old bridge and I think one of, the, one of the people mentioned that they've lost three people in the, in the last five years while crossing that bridge to go, to water, uh, go, go get water. I think it was five in the last five years, I'm not sure. But, um, so yeah, definitely helping out where you can. Like, I don't see what the problem is. Let's see. Prominent activist Boniface Mwagi, um, I, I, I butchered that, contrasted Donaldson's actions with those of the Kenyan government, saying that we are a shameful, horrible country, a begging nation governed by millionaires. That's no what? I mean, I get, I, I see why they would say that, but like, I mean, why can't people just be like, we're you know, thank we're grateful for what you've done for us. I guess is it, is it like some type of pride that help has them do this? Like maybe they feel like we should, uh, our government should have been handling it, handling it instead of having you know millionaires come through and help and govern it for us fix problems that our government should have been fixing or something hmm. well there's probably a reason they couldn't do it right like either they didn't do it um because they didn't know well they probably knew about it so no i can't say that uh they, either they didn't do it because it wasn't on the top of the priority list or something or they couldn't do it because they didn't have the money for it or they could have done it but chose you know not to i don't know but um yeah i mean if you have a guilty conscience um if you it feels like if if you just if you're embarrassed about it and you want to say negative things about someone else helping you then you either have a then maybe you have a guilty conscience or uh, maybe it is. Maybe you do actually feel, just feel embarrassed, but I don't know. I, I figured they would be like, they, people would be happy about it. Okay, CNN reached out to a Kenyan government spokesperson for a comment who had not received a response at the time of publication. Sarah Kaba Jones, founder of CEO of founder and CEO of Face Africa, an organization working to improve water inf infrastructure and sanitation in sub-Saharan uh, Africa told CNN, I've been doing this for 15 years, but we've been struggling to continue the work because funding, awareness, and advocacy all take work. See, it's like, like, like I said before, they either they, one of the options I said was either they could have, they wanted to do it, but, or not wanted to, I didn't say that part. Um, either they couldn't do it because they didn't have the money for it or something. But um, again, yeah, or they didn't, or they could have done it, but they didn't know about it, and that covers the awareness part and advocacy. People gotta follow through. Article article continues, and then she added, overnight, this person comes along, who happens to be a white male figure with a huge platform, and all of a sudden, he gets all of the attention. It's kind of frustrating, but it's also understanding the nature of the, how the world is. Okay, yeah. Okay, no, hold up. Let me let me back check real quick. Uh, the uh, Saran Kaban Kaba Jones, 
to talk about her face africa a company company not having enough uh funding for it but uh funding or reach of awareness for it so it, i was i was talking as if it was the government but uh anyway isn't i mean it's it shouldn't shouldn't it all be all right like it, it's, it's it may be you know she has problem getting awareness out there about it, the issues of the drinking water but isn't it a good thing that someone comes through who has a platform and is like and is known on youtube or something like that and stuff and they decide to you know try to help you out you know isn't i guess it is you know it's i guess it, i guess it can i can see how it would be frustrating because she well, wanted to be able to be uh, do the be the one to do this for the for her people, for her country, but she couldn't because she didn't have the reach of awareness. She couldn't get the attention that she needed. But still, like, it's a good thing he came through, right? Mm. Article continues. She praised Donaldson for shining the spotlight on the need for clean water, but warned that the issue is sustainability it's one of it's one thing to go in and install the well it's another thing for us to go back there three or to go back three or four or five years from now and see if that well is still functional well i believe in the video mr b said something about it being able to pump water for 30 years like the next 30 years i don't know if he got that information from the from the other people he was with the, who you know the, who were informed but um or if he just said just said out a random not random number but i mean hopefully it at least last it would look at least last 30 years it would it is another thing to say hey we can do this right now but i might not come back and uh check on them and see if the wells are still working <laughs> but uh so I, I agree with everyone on that one the article continues kabad jones told cnn that face africa works in areas where 60 percent of wells are broken and people go back to drinking from the creek because there was no infrastructure put in place for follow-up for maintenance for repair and she said uh and she and said she hoped donaldson's well building effort included this infrastructure i don't think he mentioned any of that in the in the video so i don't know that's a good question though while much of the reaction to Donaldson's video seems to focus on how it shamed Kenyan, the Kenyan government, its creator anticipated a backlash, saying on X that he knows he's gonna get canceled because he uploaded a video helping people. And to be 100% clear, he doesn't care. He seems to know how it goes. Yep, the hearing video, canceled. <laughs> the eye seeing, the eyesight video, canceled. And then helping uh, helping another helping another large people group, group of people by doing a hundred things probably gonna get canceled <laughs> why is it hold on why is it that when people take their own money out of their own pocket and go to help others directly in need there's criticism for it but when people are when people are told to when people decide to go and put their money in a in a donation bin they've they've more they feel more like they're just doing you know doing good and helping others and nobody really criticizes them for it when they don't really, when uh, sometimes they don't even know where that money is going is it actually going to help those in need directly or is that money going to uh, you know some millionaires who started the fundraiser or the benefit or the, the thing and when they themselves had billions and are partnered with a multi-millionaire and could just help to rebuild or help to solve an issue that people had to deal with who survived wildfires and you know that fund that that money goes <laughs> goes missing like it did with the people who in the with the wildfires such uh funds a, a majority of that money you know oprah's fund went missing <laughs> but nobody seems to be talking about it but they are going to be doing an investigation on it at least or at least they say they're going to be doing an investigation on it or you know people put donations in 
a bucket that goes to some rich pastor that's faking his uh, religion, but just want, but knows he can make money from it. <laughs> My chandeliers cost more than most people's house. I got 22 chandeliers in the house. What are these preachers' true intentions? When you look at the Bible itself, it says for the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. But these preachers, does it not appear that they love money more than they love God? Because when you hear a pastor, someone that's supposed to be a man of God, saying things like this. I was on television, he said, I heard you was a millionaire. I said, that's not right. That's not true. He said, yes it is. I said, no it's not. Multi. Now add that to it and you'll be all right. <laughs> oh, he couldn't handle that. He liked to have had a fit. And I said, you mess with me, I'll buy this station and I'll fire you. Yeah, oh, he didn't like that, did he? Did he? Uh, you know, that was a little fleshy, but it felt good. Yeah, it I don't know, man, but uh, it's kind of curious. So the article, article continues. Aspiring Kenyan po politician Francis mm, Gaitho criticized Donaldson's video saying on X, that it perpetrated the stereotype that Africa is dependent on handouts and philanthropic in intervention. I don't, I don't, I didn't have that, that stereotype of Africa. I don't, what did that, the, does, do people have that, actually have that stereotype? Or is, or is he, or is he just kind of, just like an embarrassment thing type, like the other guy? Hmm. Anyway, uh, though, Though Giatho's comments attracted criticism on their own. Okay, cool. Donaldson is the most popular individual creator on YouTube with more than 200 million subscribers. He has become known for his philanthropy, uh, philanthropy <laughs> posting videos in which he sponsored 1,000. Oh, there it is. It was 1,000 blind people, not 100. Oops. 1,000 blind people's uh, cataract surgery and uh, bought prosthetic limbs for 2,000 amputees. Such video, I guess it was also 1,000 people for the uh, hearing as well. Such videos have helped him build a business empire potentially worth more than 1 billion and garnered him enough recognition that Time Magazine named him one of the most influential people in 2023. Some critics have previously accused Donaldson of exploiting vulnerable people to generate views and revenue, but he said on X that I'm always going to use my channel to help people and try to inspire my audience to do the same. And that's it for this article. Like, I don't know. Um, is like, I, like I asked before, is there actually a stereotype that, um, that Africa just relies on donations? from philanthropic philanthropic people <laughs> or is it like like what is what's your what's your thoughts on it is it is it more out of embarrassment or more out of a guilty conscience like they wanted to help like the Kenyan government wanted to help and knew about it but couldn't help because they didn't have the money for it or they're uh using their tax the tax money that they could have used for that for other things which now that, now that that has been taken care of or help uh, solved, that has been taken care of, solved or whatever, they can take that tax money and use it towards anything else they might have an issue with to support their people. Or is or maybe like they didn't know about it because you know like the the uh, the lady said Miss Kaba Miss Kaba said you know she has uh, trouble with awareness, getting awareness out there and advocacy and um also just fun just fundraising in general so you know maybe they didn't know because she has trouble with getting awareness out there getting the word out there or um maybe like the kenyan government like uh knew but just 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 wasn't worried about it like it wasn't on the list of priorities to do or at least at the top of the list of priorities but i don't know let me know what you think in the comments below i mean when I saw this video when it first came out, I was like, yeah, he, I can't wait to see him get canceled for this. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> but, um, so shout out to Mr. Beast for doing his thing thing, you know what I'm saying? I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Like, if you want to go help people, help people. Um, and if you can do it directly like he can, that's good too, right? Um, hopefully people, uh, of course, people do, that do donate to charity. I know a lot of you, uh, uh, well, 
maybe a lot of you um, actually, you know, research the charities and that charity is known for send, taking the money and directly using it to help other people in that are actually in need. And you're not just like, you know, giving it to random charities that you don't that may have some funds go missing, you know. Mm. But anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to do those three things that I like to ask you to do. And like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos. Yeah. And you know what it is after that. In case I don't see you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Peace. Much love to you.